Can you save Choo Choo Charles from Eugene's son? Now this question may sound a bit odd, given 6 million people tuned in last time to watch me try to save Eugene's life by preventing him from dying at the start of the game. Well, it turns out maybe we went a bit hard on this demon train. And so in an effort to make things right, I'm going to try my best at trying to save Charles from Eugene's angry son. Yes, the man who helped us rig the bridge with explosives is still out for blood. So let's see what kind of magic we can work and what kind of odd things we can discover. I hope you enjoy. So the idea for this video actually came from a combination of my last videos. The one where we saved Eugene and the one where we created terrifying monsters like this. <laughs> Through breaking the start of the game and seeing what happened, I wanted to try to do the same at the end. And so we will be spawning things to try to mess the game up. So here we are with three eggs getting ready to start the final fight. Now, as this final cutscene takes place, I decided to spawn in a few copies of Charles in the doorway to see if he would mess with Warren and his crew. I also threw in some additional cultists as well, or rather, uh, a lot of cultists. However, most of the cultists just walked away. So that kind of sucked. Despite the game being set to a very slow running speed, the actual cultists were moving quite fast. And almost all of them left before I even placed the first egg in. Now when Warren spawned in, it looked like he couldn't care any less that Charles was sitting in the doorway. But when the giant beam of energy fires off, Warren just nopes the heck out of there. He straight up turns around, takes a few steps, and just vanishes. And despite me trying to blockade the door, uh, Omega Charles is born, and he blows through the shed and eats Warren. And we warp back to the train. So now the final fight has actually begun, but can Charles stop Charles? I waste no time to start throwing down other trains to try to stop the powered up version. And a massive pile of Charles appear, and the big boy starts trying to climb over them. It honestly looks pretty weird, and at this point I thought I broke the powered up Charles completely. Sometimes spawning trains under other trains can cause their like physics to get messed up. In a previous video, you probably saw me send Charles to the moon, and this was a result of that mess up. However, this time that anti-gravity effect did not trigger, and Omega Charles basically gets through my barrier quite quickly. But that was only the warm-up round. Here you go, Charles. Here's the cultist army. So I'm hoping this army will be able to stop Charles dead in his tracks. And for a while, they do get his AI jammed. Charles is just running into the barrier, and I shoot at the cultist crowd to make them scatter and sort of conform around the train. So Omega Charles does get stuck in the cultist in the back, but ultimately it's a no use because this Charles has a teleport that is designed to get him out of sticky situations, so that he's always pursuing you in this final fight. So Charles warps out of the cultist trap and he's hot on our tail. But Omega Charles unfortunately fell from my trap card, and I light him on fire, and then I smash him with 25 copies of his lesser self. And at this point, it just looks like a giant centipede with like a blockhead? It's like a moving house. And honestly, it's pretty terrifying looking, but it did the job just fine. Charles was not able to move because he was constantly bumping into the other geometry or the colliders for the other Charles. And so this held them in place and I was able to get away. But of course, we know what's coming next because even though Charles was stuck, he was capable of teleporting to my location, thus escaping my blockade. So, as you can see, without me needing to explain, this is not going very well. It seems the only way that I could potentially stop Charles is to bring him to the brink of destruction at the end of the fight, and then hopefully sabotage the very ending of the game. But my game is overloaded at this point because of all the things I spawned in, so I derail myself with a boomer to try again. This time around, I get him to the final hit and I strike him. And as I'm doing so, I use my godly modification powers to bring this universe, this game world, to an absolute crawl. Time is almost frozen. It's barely moving forward. And in this brief moment of relaxation, um, my train is thrown off the map and I appear way beneath the ocean. I can look up and I can see my train floating above me. And it turns out my train is actually positioned and standing on a single cube. So there's this white cube beneath the train that the train is sitting on so it doesn't fall. Now this is something that I found out of bounds in my last video that I didn't cover because I wasn't sure exactly what it was for. So I was pleasantly surprised to see it here holding up this train. But I'm not entirely sure why there are three eggs flattened beneath it. 
Now, it appears this is where the train goes during the final warp and cutscene, or at least for a moment. But what's interesting is that if we go back to where Omega Charles was at, um, he actually gets cloned. And this was something I did not know about. So the Omega Charles that was chasing us by that bridge, when we defeated him, is actually still by that bridge. He just moved off to the side, off the tracks, and he's just frozen, standing there, contemplating life. Why did he kill Eugene? Is there more to life than this island? So Charles is stuck there, basically waiting for the inevitable. Now on the other side of the island, we can find a copy of Charles making a very slow run for the bridge. So we just get rid of the bridge completely. I mean, if there isn't a bridge, he can't blow up, right? Charles wasn't stopping though, and he was right on the edge of the cliff. So once again, we summon the power of tons of other Charles to hopefully stop this mad lad. I frantically bury Omega Charles with the other trains, but it's no use. Giga Chad Charles pushed through the other trains and begins to fall off the cliff before he starts hovering, simulating his crashing sequence. With a blinding flash, even though we delete the bridge, Charles is launched into the air and the bridge magically spawns in again. My game camera is completely locked though at this point, and I can't do anything at all. Charles slowly disappears into the smoke and debris, and Charles dies. He couldn't be stopped. Up top, a bunch of cultists begin to swarm my train, which warped across the map, mind you. But these cultists explode as soon as they touch it. An all-out war ensues as my train gets shot up, and cultists explode into bright red paint after they touch my wicked ride. As the credits roll, it is absolute chaos, and then the bodies of the cultists begin to get extremely distorted, with some of them stretching into the sky. Up in the air, they look really messed up, it's pretty funny. And his body begins to ooze back to the ground, as if it's like melted taffy or wax. The cultists have certainly seen better days, but unfortunately, our quest ended in failure. We cannot stop Eugene's son from destroying Charles, or at least the Charles on the bridge. I guess the copy of Omega Charles on the other side of the island still survived, so we can call it a draw? Regardless, we weep for Eugene. We weep for Charles. But I hope you still enjoyed this silly video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!